We are back and dropping in for some new Helldivers news because, you know, it's one of those days where new information is rolling in fast and I try to include it all each time I upload. Welcome to the channel, it's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and even though I took the last few days off, for some much needed R&R, that doesn't mean that Arrowhead has, as there is a new patch we need to take a gander at. We've also finished one major order and are immediately flung into another. There's community polls we need to discuss, a new daily, new armor sets actually showing up in the Superstore reset, what? And a whole lot more. It looks like I'm going to be taking it fast to try to include it all. You ladies and gents consistently kill it for supporting the channel, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Remember to hit subscribe and ring that notifications bell to receive my daily upload alerts. By the way, both of those really help out the channel. And let's check out all the latest with Helldivers. Alrighty, today's Superstore reset is actually new, and for anyone wanting a light armor set with engineering kit, today's your day. Actually, the next three days are your days, as this is a three-day reset, but the FS-37 Ravager is now on sale with engineering kit for plus two grenades. By the way, it looks really snazzy with those grenade launcher rounds all assembled up there on the shoulders. There's also the CM-10 Clinician Spaceman helmet in all white, the FS-37 Ravager helmet, and of course the CM-10 Clinician medium body armor with med kits as the passive for plus two stems and two seconds more stem effect duration. Now I've said this in previous uploads, this is really useful when fire NATOs have completely engulfed the extraction zone and you need to get to the shuttle and you need to get there in a matter of seconds. Also, the clinician should be seen for miles planet side with its near all white construction. Also, while we're talking dailies, etc., today's personal order is to complete six secondary objectives for 15 medals. And if you just start knocking out those extras like a Seaf launcher or a rogue transmission, you'll finish this one up fairly quickly. Next up is the current major order, which, yes, is still running, at least at the time of this recording, early morning East Coast US, as it has about an hour and a half until termination. Now, we've got Minkin and Lasath fully at 100% and have for a while now, and barring some sort of last minute counter assault orchestrated by mischievous Game Master Joel, we're going to quietly finish this one up and collect those 55 medals, which, by the way, may be delayed. More on that in a moment. The trick now, however, is to guess what's next. I mean, we've effectively halted this massive automaton advance. We've taken Minkin and Lasath, and over in the Andromeda sector, we've nearly liberated all of Martal and Marfark. Penta, Chort Bay, and Chuhei all have minuscule numbers of divers, all kind of slowly pecking away at those three. And over in Bugsville, there's currently a 24-hour defense campaign running on 4E Prime, as we've recently liberated that one as well. Oshani and Hellmire are also available for some bug diving action, but I expect, probably while I record this video, that we're going to get a new major order. And my guess is that it will again pit us versus those bots. I guess we're gonna have to see in a few hours time. But for now, let's head over to the Helldivers Discord because you know a lot's been going down over there in the community sections. And since it is Tuesday, that means we've got another patch to quickly review. 1.000.203 went live earlier this morning. And in terms of size, it was actually pretty small. We knew this was coming, but the CE27 Groundbreaker Armor Passive Talent Swap is now here, moving it from Servo Assisted over to Engineer Kit for those extra grenades. There's also 10 crash and stability fixes mentioned here in the notes, including, listen to this, a fix for an issue where PC and console players were dealing different damage to enemies. And I would have loved to have seen some more details spelled out on this one. Please, Arrowhead, in the future, give us details. When, where, why, what, you know, that kind of stuff. And sadly, there's nothing here about it. Also, red boxes and defense missions have also been addressed, which was crazy to see kind of all around the edges of the map in that mission type. Major orders now display text correctly. Okay. We've also seen two biggies, multiple crashes in the loadout screen where players left or joined the squad, as well as crashes that could occur after extraction when the mission results and rewards were shown. Been there, 
seen that one. I've called it the Soul Crusher in previous videos. Crashing when throwing back grenades while wielding heat-based weapons. That's new. Has also been identified and fixed. Very interesting one indeed there. So it was the heat-based weapons that were clashing with the grenade tosses. Huh. That means I could have been throwing back grenades all this time because I rarely use heat-based weapons. Crashing when the host migrates to another player. More on this host topic in a moment. Crashing when too many civvies spawn in. How about a fix for their pathings? Because for me, they always seem to stack up, sometimes on top of each other's shoulders at the highest point of that ramp. If you know, you know. There's also various other crashes when deploying and various gameplay crashes. All in here, most without the details, which to be honest, you know, I don't really care about as long as the game is stable from boot up to finish. Now, probably as important, if not of more importance, are the known issues that are not yet currently fixed, because you can kind of work around these if you actually know about them. First off is this new level four ship module, superior packing methodology, and it does not work properly. We saw this one last week. We saw several posts from the dev team. They thought they sort of had a workaround and it is still not there. And this upgrade, by the way, is expensive. So steer clear of it for right now until they have it sorted. And instead, use all those samples on something that actually works. There's also some various social menu functions and persistent issues with the friends list that seems to be consistent week after week. By the way, this next one is really huge. Damage over time effects may only apply when dealt by the host. We've seen this one in the past, and this one is massive, and it depends on whose system is hosting the game, not the session host. Now, unfortunately, I didn't record it, but yesterday I experimented with this one using a flamethrower and napalm with me just kind of diving in solo, and I had that level four upgrade for the 25% extra fire damage, and oh my god. Word, I was slaughtering bugs by the bucket load with zero effort. By the way, fire in general needs a lot of work, as if we hell divers even touch a little match size flame on the ground, we have something like 0.5 seconds to live. Never mind something like a Hulk that's just gushing fire all over the place. Yeah, fire and damage over time needs a lot of sorting out, so be careful with those. Weapons in general are also mentioned quite a bit in here. For instance, how the sickle and other weapons will not shoot through foliage, which is good to know and plan for. And also how a general scopes seem to be misaligned on many of the weapons. Arc weapons are misfiring. The spear, which I both love and hate, has inconsistent targeting. Yeah, that's an understatement, making it extremely hard to lock on. They know about it. Hopefully they can fix it soon. Oh, here's another biggie. Deploying stratagems such as the hell bomb around the automaton Eye of Sauron towers. You know about those when you see them. Anyways, how when you throw down those stratagems, they seem to bounce and roll off. They know about it and they seem to be working on it. And that's a massive one for me. So many times I've cast down that stratagem and seen it roll down the ramp, bounce around a bit, and then land far, far below in a moat area. Or here's another one. It just bounces around for a bit and then just poof, it atomizes and disappears. Again, Arrowhead knows about these and hopefully they can sort them out sooner than later. Ooh, a perfect and completely unplanned transition there because this next theme here is sorting things out. And the dev team has been pretty active polling the community through their own official Discord, including this first poll asking players what they thought about marksman rifles. And you didn't need a poll for this one because 79% of the votes said they were underpowered and needed a rebalance. Agreed 1 million percent. And I'm sure Arrowhead's internal data said much the same. There's also been a poll asking how players felt about the Democratic Detonation War Bond, which for me was kind of meh. 68% said it was good but was missing something. Agreed again. And just my thoughts here, DD needed armor sets with new passives, which were missing. And in general, the community has not responded favorably to the weapons on offer. Not all of them. And I posted videos about these weapons just saying kind of those weapons in general. Continuing on with this, and yesterday, two new polls arrived, of which the first asked about the current state of the game, which is kind of a wasted poll, at least in my honest opinion, as you were polling the rabid official Helldiver Discord, and go figure, 96% of the votes either say the game is good or great. And by the way, I agree, the game is great. I'm just saying, 
where the poll was posted and who you were polling, maybe that needed to be reconsidered. Now, the second poll here asked what the community wants to see going forward with essentially new content taking the top spot and fixing technical issues coming in a rather close second. I would like to offer up a third option here. Why not both? And to be honest, that's probably what they're doing anyways. But to see some of those biggie issues removed from the known issues board along with new content, yeah, that's what's going to keep divers diving and happy. And finally, I'm patting myself here on the back for holding off and waiting on today's video because here comes the good stuff. As Helldivers HQ has started their build up to the next major order and this just hit X, Twitter, whatever the hell we're calling it today. And it says, Factory Striders have made a resurgence on the automaton front. Oh boy. These imposing massive support dreadnoughts now threaten freedom and democracy throughout the galactic rim. Now, I've dealt with these on Helldive difficulty, and let me tell you, getting boxed in by a few of these monsters with all of their supporting ground troops is no cakewalk. By the way, I see that snowy environment in the background as well, and I wonder if it's going to be on Martell or Marfark. I forget which is which. Let's just go with Marfark, because I think that's the snowy planet. Again, I think that's the snowy planet. Okay, and I had to wait a little bit, but here's the new Major Order, along with a couple of new dispatches, the first of which says Major Order 1. And by the way, no medals yet, I just checked, and remember those are delayed as part of their known issues board. Anyway, it says, the defense held, the Menkent line has been established, the automaton advance has been arrested. Rudimentary orbital defenses have been established along the line and are being augmented by hardworking SEAF and civilian laborers. Meanwhile, the SEAF forward command base on Vernon Wells is up and running, providing fresh recruits and supplies to the front. So there, we now have official confirmation that we achieved the full previous major order and start looking for those 55 medals to show up any minute, day, week from now. And here's the new major order. It says, with the Minkent line established, the automaton fleet has been forced to divert their plans. Now they are attempting a concerted effort to punch through at a single planet. And by the way, that's a pretty smart move on their part. The automatons are likely to muster the entirety of their strength for this endeavor. So here comes those giant walkers. You must outlast the enemy. Hold the planet no matter the cost. Taking a quick look at the galaxy map, and we have a 36-hour major order, which is kind of odd and small considering past major orders. Could this hint at a major offensive in a few days? Possibly? Maybe? The planet is indeed Marfark, so my guess was right. The snow gave it away, and we are currently sitting at nearly 65% liberated as of right now. So... This could be flying by very quickly, all for 35 medals, and unless Joel pulls a rabbit out of his hat, we should be able to knock this one out and then prepare for whatever the next act in this war will be. Okay, this is a great place to press pause for today. We've got the new major order, the new update, new superstore offerings, and of course the new daily. Needless to say, there's diving that needs to be done. Remember to hit subscribe and ring that notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. All my socials can be found in the video description, including an open invite link to my awesome and fast-growing Helldiver Discord community, complete with LFG areas and, of course, those free voice channels. Shout out to the nearly 218,000 of you that have taken the plunge and hit subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.